Good morning, everyone. It is Friday. Friday. Grass is not mowed. Garage door shutting. Let's go to work. So we are actually late heading out today. Uh, usually we're out of the house by about 7.35. The latest around 7.40. Today, it is 7.46 right now. And my allergies are killing me. I really don't care for this red light right here. Come on. So the great thing about it being Friday is that uh, I am off on the weekends. Saturday and Sunday I'm off with my job and I enjoy that. Um, today is the last day that uh, the, I'm in the training room. I'm a SME in the training environment which is a subject matter expert. So I'm helping the trainer to train uh, the new class that's coming in for uh, employees. New message. Do you wish to read it now? Yes. If I made it safely, I love you. Mua, 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 mua. <laughs> mua, 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 mua. So being that it's the last day of the training, they uh, do a potluck uh, at work, which typically I'm not the biggest fan of potlucks just because I... I don't like not knowing where my food was cooked and the environment, you know. Beyond that, uh, it's still fun. You just kind of munch all day and, and, you know, you work still, but you get stuff done, but you munch it as well. So that's pretty cool. Uh, should be a pretty nice day. We'll still have a lot of work that we get done, but it should be a pretty nice day. Um, but the shitty part about that is that I I signed up to go like bring in a vegetable platter or whatever. I had to go get a vegetable platter. But see, the nice part about that too is when you're doing potlucks, if you sign up for a vegetable platter, most people aren't really gonna miss a vegetable platter. Vegetable platters are amazing if you're there and you're like, yeah, I like veggies. But if it's there, if, if it's not there, people aren't super missing it. But I do need to make sure that I go get one. So we need to try to speed a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. So we can see if we can go and uh, get one picked up before work over at the grocery store that's only a couple blocks away from work. That's a plan at least. Uh, at this point in time, that is our first plan of the day. All right guys, we made it to work safe and secure, which is a good thing because there was some crazy drivers on the road today. But as I said, it is Friday. I know that you guys always get these videos a day later because you know I have to edit them and then I just schedule them because by the time they get finished editing, I'm sure you guys don't want these videos going live at like one in the morning. So that's something that we try to avoid here. So I schedule them. Uh, I don't know what a good time is. I know that uh, with my uh, little vid IQ setup or whatever, it says that uh, best time for you to display your videos is about four in the afternoon. And I'm like, that's cool. But I think also that's a little bit too early in the day. But in that same sense, the first couple of these vlogs, we got like, you know, 150, 200 views in a day. These last few have only been about 40 or 50. And so I don't know if it's something that you guys don't like the videos coming out daily. I kind of enjoy them coming out daily because it's something that it's, you know, definitely difficult to do, but it gives me something. It's like a goal to strive for is daily videos. So uh, I don't know. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about that. I'm going to head into work and we shall continue this conversation after work. All right, peoples, welcome. It is uh, the afternoon. It is time to go home. It is Friday afternoon. Everybody is working for the weekend. And uh, it is totally the weekend now. So we do have some things that we need to get done today. The wifey got a uh, patio set that we need to assemble. I was, I, I was told these are, these are honeydew lists. For those of you that are young and not married, honeydew lists are things that you say your spouse gives you. And they say, honey, can you do this? And you say, yes. Yes, I can. Because you just want to keep them happy. So that's what we got. So she bought a little patio set. We're going to be assembling it. The back, we can have it back there. So I'll get a little tripod set up whenever we get home. We do have to get this edited. And then I would actually like to stream some games, but I'm also quite exhausted. 
have to get home too and this person's just driving. Ooh, that was almost direct right there. That was almost direct right there. So, my day went pretty well. I hope that your day, your, you guys' day is also well. I think that might be the proper, probably not. I hope yours is also well. That's it. Pardon me, Jeep. So whenever I was in the Army, I was an 88 Mike, which is a motor transport operator. I was licensed for pretty much all wheeled vehicles. Not every single one, but most wheeled vehicles. I was also a dignitary driver at one point in time, uh, driving around generals and stuff like that. I was stationed at Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri, and we have change of command ceremonies. And uh, depending on the level, it, it has different meanings. For post level, you have a change of command ceremony where the general that's coming in and the general that you're going out, they uh, drive on, they stand up on the back of uh, old CJ, CJ3 Jeep from like the 40s, 30s or 40s. Amazing. They keep this one specific Jeep and it's for ceremonial purposes only. Immaculate condition, red interior like carpet and everything like that, brass bar, made for ceremonies, gorgeous, beautiful. Everything on it was immaculate except for the fact that the speedometer didn't work. So you couldn't tell how fast you were going. It was old three speed. So. They're like, dream, we'll say dream. I need you to go pick up the uh, the Jeep, make sure you're you know well aware of how to drive it and all this stuff. You already know how to drive stick. I said, yes, sir. All right, yeah, go pick up the Jeep. You need to go practice with it and you need to get signed out to you. You also need to get licensed for it. So uh, not everybody is licensed for a 1930s model Jeep because we don't use them anymore for anything really. So I went and I picked it up and I got my license and everything like that. And I got certified on it. I had to go get it to where it was like, clean and maintained and then I was driving it back around the backside of post and I see the lights get pulled over by the MPs there on post so he pulls me over and I'm like crap I'm sweating bullet the general is gonna see that I got pulled over like on my first day of having the Jeep and uh, getting it over for the ceremony and everything like that I'm gonna get a freaking ticket and a Jeep from World War II. So I, uh, he pulls me over and everything like that, and he's like, uh, you know how fast you were going? But actually, I don't, sir, because the uh, speedometer doesn't work. Really? No, yeah, it, it totally doesn't work. He's like, hmm. I actually got you going 48 in a 25. So I should give you a ticket, but I've never been in one of these, and I've always wanted to ride in it since I've been here. He'd been at the post for a while. He's like, I've always wanted to ride in it. I only ever see it at the change of command ceremony. There's another seat right here. He's like, all right. So he goes and locks his car, hops in the passenger seat, and we just ride around the back of the, the, the post, which is like around the river and everything like that. And we're just cruising for probably about a good 30 minutes, riding around the back of the post. He doesn't give me a ticket. He lets me go away because I was I drove him around in the 1930s Jeep for, for the summer ceremony vehicles. It was amazing. And uh, he let me go. He's like, all right, keep it down. I like, try to keep up with traffic and everything like that in your other areas. I'm like, all right, cool. Appreciate it. Ho, ho. And I, I head over to the thing and park it. The general has no idea about any of this. A week later, after the change command ceremony, the, the, the general, he's like, Dream, come into my office. I'm like, yes, sir. Uh, so I got a report from the garage. I was like, what? Was there was there a scratch or anything like that? Was something wrong with the Jeep? He's like, no, 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 no. Everything was fine, except that there was about an extra 30 miles on it than what was estimated for the uh, for the change of command ceremony. You have anything to say about that? And I was like, full disclosure, sir. He's like, as always, I got pulled over. <laughs> He's like, wait, wait, what? I was like, yeah, first day I got pulled over. He's like, well, how come I didn't see anything on it? Sorry, there was a, a state trooper right there. Uh, so, sorry, all the traffic's going kind of crazy. Give me a second. All right, sorry about that. So where was I? Uh, so, and uh, why didn't I hear anything about this? Like, yeah, it's full disclosure. I got pulled over, and he's like, "What? Why didn't I hear anything about this?" I was like, "Well, the uh, the the officer, the MP in question, uh, said that I was doing 48." out on the back road back there like on the specific road and he's like that's 25 i was like yeah he's like well so did you get a ticket or not and i was like no sir it's like well what happened i was like he said that he had never driven in one and i was still trying to learn the gearing so i figured i should you know make a deal and so we went right around the backside. he's like really 
why didn't you ever report that? I was like, well, because there was a change of command ceremony, you know, basically giving them some excuses. I was like, ah. See if you can go get the Jeep again. I was like, do for what, sir? He's like, because I always thought it'd be a good idea to take the Jeep and, and, and go out to the fishing spots out there just to see how it would work. I was like, I thought I was so busted because literally at the time I'm like an E4 general. He was a, a major general, so a two star. And I'm like, really? I'm going to get busted by the post commander. It was, it was, it was frustrating, but all in all, it turned out well. Uh, I didn't get in any kind of trouble or anything like that. The MP didn't get in any kind of trouble because I didn't know his name. It was just the guy that I was riding around with that almost gave me a ticket. And uh, then me and the post commander got to go and uh, ride the Jeep in the back trails around post. So, moral of the story, bargain your way out of getting a ticket if you can, I guess. I don't think that's a good moral of the story. Okay, so don't, that's not the moral of the story. Don't follow that. Uh, sometimes, luck will work on your side that's the moral of the story definitely not the first one all right guys so we are almost whoo that guy almost got it prairie dogs get out of the road i hate whenever the prairie dogs are in the middle of the road and that little guy almost got it so we are almost home i'm going to be uh getting the stuff out of the garage and everything like that i'll set up a tripod we'll do a little time lapse of putting the thing together and all of the extra parts that we might have so i will see you guys in just a second to work it's Friday now so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up I will uh, this video will be up on Saturday I won't have a video up on Sunday and then uh, we'll start again back up on Monday so 
that's going to wrap it up for this time, guys. Until next time, I'm DreamRaver23, reminding you to game happy. And I'll see you all later. Bye, guys. Lawn mode.